Hello everyone, welcome back to this Postman tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a team workspace so that we can share our work in team workspace. And if we put our work in team workspace, all team members which are part of that team workspace will be able to access all the requests which we create or the requests which are created by the other team members. So let's go ahead and first create a team workspace. In order to create a team workspace, we can go to this team, my workspace and here we can see the drop down. Click on that drop down and click on create new. Let's go ahead and give the name to this workspace as ABC team workspace. Of course, we can provide the summary. What is the reason for this team workspace? I will just mention this workspace is for QA and dev team. We can define whether it's a personal workspace or it is for the team. As it is team, I'll just keep selection on the team. Then provide user email ID for all the users for those which need to have access to this team workspace i'll just give a dummy email id for now and click on the add when we click on the create workspace button the invite will be sent to this user with this email id and that user need to accept this invite so that that user will become part of this workspace let's go ahead and click create workspace and now this workspace is got created which we can see here at the top if you want to see the old workspace click on this drop down here we can see there are already some workspaces are there go to the personal and let's go to select this the my workspace now we have the workspace but there are no requests present how can we get those requests so instead of creating all those requests manually, again, we can export the existing requests and import in that ABC team workspace. So the very first step is exporting the request. In order to export the request, we can go on this particular selection of which we need to export the request. So I'll go to this sample collection or we can go to any other request i'm selecting the sample collection and then there are three dots click on that and here we have several option and one of the option is export click on export here uh, there are some versions available for collection such as v1 that is deprecated and then we have the latest one that is 2.1 select that and click export now you need to select a particular file location. So I just selected the collection folder and we can give the name as we want and click save. Once it is exported, a file will be saved which will open and we'll see what it contains. So this is the file which we just created and if you notice, the extension of file is JSON. So when we export any collection, it is exported in the form of JSON file format. We'll right click and open. And this is the file format with the details, what are the requests it contains and other information. Now we have the file. How can we import it? In order to import it, let's go ahead back to the team workspace. In order to change the workspace, select here, go to the team and select the workspace which we would like to work on. So here in this workspace, history is empty, collections are empty and all the sections are all empty. So in order to import, click on this import button and here several options are available file folder link and raw text 
let's go ahead and use the file option because that is the one we have select this file and it says the what file it's going to impair import and what's version and click import as soon as we click the import we see the request is automatically got created but how about the environment so we created the development prod all this environment those environment will not be available in this team workspace we have to create those manually so the variables which are on the environment level will be will not be available but the environment which we create at the collection level will be available for example here we created all these variables and these are available so this way we can see we can import the collection in our team workspace and this can be shared across the all the team members i hope this tutorial is helpful to understand how to create a team workspace